Good morning, everyone. This is Evelyn. I have my 45D60 read and my Twin Flame read. I just did a short meditation with my inner child. And let's go ahead and do a, first do a, a, a deep breath, please. Sending lots of love and blessings out to everybody. Hope you're having a great day. <sighs> when I just went into my little girl, and by the way, I keep getting triangles, 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 triangles. And when I went into my little girl today, she wasn't, like I told you before, she's just in her more young adult, you know, very um, grounded and not reactive energy and just smiling up at me when I looked down to say hi. And today she was a little girl again. Like she'd quick look up at me to smile, but she's busy like with her back face toward me, like she's busy working on a project or something. And I kept waiting to see if there's anything else. And she just kept looking up and smiling and saying, oh, I'm busy. And um, I said, well, where's the divine masculine? And she said, he's right there. And he pops his head in and he says hi. And he was pretty young too. He was a little older than she was though. Um, and I said, why aren't you guys in your adults right now? I thought you were adults now. And she said, yes, but we're work, we're, we're creating. <laughs> so there's this energy of the two inner children uh, creating some kind of surprise uh, for the divine feminine. And so there's where we start. And again, with the triangles. And I want to sh I'm going to show you the triangle that I saw that I told you about yesterday. I told you that I was getting this triangle between locations, which I used to get that between me and my kids, because there's always like there was always one of us exactly halfway or midpoint between the other, uh, no matter where we moved, which has been several times. But when I draw the picture of the locations on the map that I drew out, this is the um, this triangle here, or two triangles together, which are both the same angles, basically. It's just one much on a larger scale. It's that 369 or that golden mean type of energy. So, yeah, if anything comes up with the triangles about for you guys, you know, let me know. Mm, let's see what else is coming up here. Um, yesterday when I, or when I did the read, today is the 6th of, of May. So yesterday when I did the read was 5-5, five, five, that portal energy. Um, I actually did, um, Jen McCarty's, uh, meditation with them, which, which is always a nice connecting, connect. I like to connect with the group sometimes. And, um, um, she was dealing with um, the 5G towers and the dolphins, which the dolphins have been coming up for me, as you all know, pretty regularly for the past few weeks. And I resonate with dolphin energy anyway, very strongly. Um, so that's coming up. So I'm going to start out with the union read, and I want to show you the pictures first. For those of you not familiar with my reads, this is a union read for the mask and the feminine. The second one's a divine feminine divine mass and also twin flame read, but more of a traditional read, but it's a seven deck read. There's a lot of energy on the table. This is the union read. This is the 40, 5D and 60. The feminine's on the left, masculine's on the right, the bridge between the center, the incoming divine feminine, the outgoing divine masculine, the underlying energies, and then the closing energy up here. And then we have the, um, the, the, the uh, twin flame read here. This is the Syrian Starseed deck for both as the main deck. And then the seven deck read with all the clarifiers on it is this read in front of you. Okay. And the seven decks that I usually use here are the Syrian Starseed deck is the main deck. We have the Romance Angels, the Tarot of Sexual Magic, the Numerology deck, the Rider Weight Mini, the Gilded Tarot, and the... Um, um, the Gilded Tarot and the Universal Golden Tarot. I think I got them all. And I always pull um, Oracle cards at the end, or almost always do. Depends on what's going on at the time. So, the Union read here. 
And by the wa- by, by the way, I watched. <laughs> I I went to bed very late last night because I was on a roll watching movies for some reason. It's not like like the first movie I really wasn't paying attention to. It was more of a investigative movie, um, a political investigation, State of Play, and I already heard Play again today. So there's that energy of State of Play. But I also, that one I really didn't pay much attention to. I was busy doing other things when I was watching that. But then I also watched Lovely Bones, which I'm sure I watched, but a long, long time ago. And I didn't realize that Lovely Bones was a girl who was uh, killed by her neighbor in Norristown, which is a town very close to me. And then I watched Notting Hill, which is a movie that I love. That was, you know, is very uplifting. They're so funny, actually. Um, Yeah, so both of those very extremely different energies came up. And then today is the tower of the 16. The day adds up to 16. And then the six of the lovers today. So yesterday was the um, 15 of the devil and the five of the hierophant so very different energy today of the tower coming in whether a positive sudden event or a negative sudden event this can be an epiphany it can be a sexual thing and of course we have the lovers so of course it can be that and i did i had a dream i have a dream (laughs) so so he's coming up as well um but I was going into, um, not this, this morning I had a dream. My best friend from high school was in my dream this morning. It was just a quick clip about the energy there. And then yesterday I had a dream about my, my, my masculine and then their kids. And it's just coming up the energies of, um, you know, to show you the energy that's coming up in clearings. And there was some connection to some of the movies I watched recently. So yeah, just some, and I don't usually remember my dreams. So there's definitely more um, dream state coming in for me. All right, so that it was a portal day yesterday, the 5-5. And again, Sam the Illusionist had talked about 526 being a very intense portal date as well. 26 is the Page of Wands. The union read here uh, was at 219, which is the high priestess and the sun. And I wrote, the sun is out now because yesterday it was very dark in the morning. And then all of a sudden I noticed that the sun had come out very brightly and it's actually very beautiful out right now with a little bit of breeze. I'd gone out to ground and put my feet in the grass this morning and the tree in my front yard literally waved to me when I went out. Like there was no breeze and all of a sudden the breeze came up and it was literally like the leaves, the leaves were waving at me and the colors were so beautiful and bright. And of course the sun is very bright this morning. So sometimes the sun is very bright and intense yellow, and other times it's very more diffuse with all the rainbow colors around it, but they're very different. Like some days you won't see any rainbow, and then others, you know, you'll see magnificent rainbow colors all around the sun. So at 219, the sun came out now. The two of the high priestess, the 19 of the sun, the union read for the 4D, 5D, 6D, and the, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And we started out with the seven of wands as the underlying energy standing up for themselves. And in this deck, it's very much about rising from the fire, like the fire walker, but like the Middle Eastern energy of rising to tango with flame in hand. So literally that, the Ace of Cups was the center of the read, all about self-love, spiritual love, and new love, and outpouring of love, and Virgo truck just walked, just walked by me, just drove down the street south, which Virgo is my sign. And then the, the, um, Read closed with the, uh, by the way, it was 1053, which is a message. That's the mess- the uh, Knight of Swords rushing with the truth in a turn for the better at, with the 10, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, let's see. Just one second because I wanted to write that down. And so today being 5-6 is the 56 energy as well. And... Um, that's the two of swords. So we have that ace of cups in the middle, beautiful energy, like we had a beautiful energy yesterday. I think it was the king of cups, right? And then the closing energy is the two of cups, also very beautiful. Going from yesterday of the fifth, the five, five portal to the five, six today, the two of swords being in your knowing and keeping your energies clear. It also can be someone pretending not to know, to stay balanced, to keep peace of mind. 
the phoenix rising to an outpouring of love and two connecting one to one. The Middle East rising above drama to tango, and I told you, again, Syria was coming up as the main focus right now for us to clear, and then in the future, Iran's going to be going through the same purge, or the same kind of purge. Middle East rising above drama to tango with flame in hand, transmuting to love for all, and then one to one. So again, sending love to all, and then the one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, the incoming divine feminine is the king of wands, the king of pentacles, and the queen of wands. All right, so two kings and a queen. It's the king and queen of wands with the pay, with the king of pentacles between them. In this deck, the king of pentacles can be the Akashic record, so it can literally be these two fire energies of the queen and king of wands with Akashic records between them, right? They're clearing Akashic records. So they can be fire signs, but they can just also be showing their fiery side, the King of Wands in this deck is very shamany, and the Queen of Wands has her hands into everything, you know, like the drama queen, um, but also playing with fire, right? She's very comfortable holding fire or, or having, like, uh, being in the midst of the fire, like having lots of things going on at once. And, of course, the fire signs love all that action, right? They're very physical um, personalities. So what I got here because I didn't physically have anyone major in my day yesterday. And it's 10.55 on the clock right now, which is a term for the better with the Excalibur, the truth energy. It's 11.34 on this clock, which is was 11.33, which are the master numbers of justice and the Christ vibration going to the 34, which is the energetic exchange. And it was just 11.44, which is my life lesson number and my soul number. My, my soul number, for those of you familiar, or for, the, for those of you interested, because I've been doing, doing numerology since my 20s. Um, and the book that I use is The Divine Triangle. And um, so very much about Pythagoras. And Casey is in the book as well with the number 44. Um, so my soul number is 3811, which is the Queen of Cups. My outer personality number is the Two of Cups which is the 42. Um, my destiny number is 80, so that reduces to the 8. And then my life lesson number is the 44, which is, the, again, that um, the 4 of cups. But in the numerology book, it's all about the 44 is the social worker, um, really mastering your world to have control over every aspect of your world. Um, but it's also considered the atlas number in the numerology book, whereas I was talking about in the, the tarot cards the ten of wands is that weight of the world upon your shoulders so there's two different energies coming up with the atlas energy there so we have the king of wands which is a shaman energy the king of pentacles which is the crystal skull and then the queen of wands who's who's got her hands into everything and i noticed the relationship here um, between the fixed cardinal and mutable signs so the king of wands shamans coming up as the fixed energies right being very stable and fixed uh, the shaman, um, it even can be representing the community of the shaman and staying very grounded to the earth in their community. And then to the Akashics, which is coming up as the cardinals, right? The, the ones who are up in the etheric realms doing that kind of work, the clearing in the etheric realms, and perhaps the, the, um, the clearing and, and um, Mm, transmuting those warrior energies in the etheric realms and then coming up into the queen of wands as the transmuters, right? She's got her hands into everything as the mutables, the transmutors, the, mut the mutables, the ones who are able to uh, be that binding like the twins, the uh, binding of the book that articulate between the two sides, right? They're the mediators. And then dabbling in both sides, the cardinals and the fixed, right? The mutables go back and forth. They're like the messengers. We have the king of wands and the queen of wands with the history between them or the king of pentacles between them. All right, so he's an earth sign. He could be Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, or anyone with a lot of earth in their chart or just very well off and, um, you know, takes care of others. You know, could be a, someone who owns a business or someone who's up there in the business um ladder there where they're up there on the scale it's not the emperor but he's just below the emperor but very well off and very stable and likes to take care of people in that way in in helping them 
uh, manifest and stay stable, as opposed to like the King of Cups who'd be more loving oriented and, you know, family oriented in that way. So the King and Queen of Wands with the history between them or the King of Pentacles with a lot of Atlantean fire and desert energies on the divine feminine side here. The fire warriors protecting the crystal skull, right? The crystal skull in the Sphinx, the skull of knowledge and the 4D here, the two of wands, the six of swords and the seven of cups here. The divine feminine twin flames hovering above the world, right? Taking a, a step back to see the world from a distance, seeing the bigger picture, also being able to see in the etheric realms to astral travel or ho however you want to go outside of yourself, all seeing the bigger picture, the divine masculine taking the stairway to heaven, the winding road, perhaps a different way to get there. Two by two acceleration as they get higher, right? So instead of two by twos, they're skipping, they get faster as they get higher, bridging by the six of swords, dolphin swim, social hour. And that's the, uh, the fin of the dolphin is curved as opposed to the porpoise. And they're much more social animals, the dolphin. So, um, and that's actually when I started, when I did the meditation with the dolphins. So finding peace between the twin flames and heaven on earth. At two, three, four, shut the door. Two is the high priestess, 34 is that eight of wands, that energetic exchange between the twins. So at 235, which is the high priestess and the eight of wands, that's the divine feminine twin flames hovering above the world. And that's the divine feminine twin flames hovering above the world. Which is the high priestess and the, um, the wounded warrior, the nine of wands. We had the 5D of the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Sovereign, the Ace of Cups in the middle of the reed, and the Three of Cups on the masculine side in the 5D. The Divine Feminine Sovereign, pure and wise, with counsel, in the Garden of Eden. And the Divine Masculine Three of Cups, perhaps a birthday party or some kind of gathering here. Rising to meet them, bridging with the Ace of Cups, enough love for all and self. So there's two ways this came together, right? dealing with the world and then dealing one-to-one -one, and now it's coming up as giving enough love for all and for self and dolphin play pushing the holy grail out of the water and by the way i wrote dolphin play here before i watched that movie last night which was called again state of play which was actually four pages later so, and you see how these synchronicities are always coming up. So the dolphin play pushing the Holy Grail out of the water so all can see their beauty. One escaped from the party to love self first here. In the sixth dimension here, we had the abundance on the feminine side, the four of swords, and then the queen of pentacles on the masculine side. The divine feminine abundance with open arms. The mother load of triangle, which is literally on her shoulders in this card, you know, holding it on her wings, standing in water, which is the plasma energy, the plasma bearer, please ma, right? Plasma is please ma, bear her. The iron cross between the wings, hand in hand, and chakra pillar, that lowercase i of the chakra system and the third eye. The Iron Cross then came up, which is from the Kingdom of Prussia, and then later the Nazi Germany, 1870 to 1918, and then 1933 to 45 uh, during the Nazi Germany era. And this was from William III in Prussia, um, established March 17, 1813 in the no Napoleon Wars. And then the Napoleon Complex, of course, is coming up, you know, the little man. The award was backdated to his late wife's birthday. So again, birthday party is coming up, 310. And um, that's the three of the abundance, the 10 of a turn for the better. And her name was Queen Louise. Um, and she was the first to be decorated with this cross. Black and gold. So it's a gold cross, um, excuse me, a black cross outlined in gold. And then IR, so iron cross was coming up for me as IR on cross. And it was dated, the cross that I looked up, 1939. So 19 is the sun, 39 is the knight of cups. With the eagle above it, some of the pictures had an eagle above it, some of them didn't. But the Nazi Germany one 
had an, the eagle above it with the wreath and the swastika um, with 1914 at the bottom and then the crown on the top with the W right in the middle of the cross. The empress carrying the weight of the divine masculine pyramid, right, the upright pyramid on her shoulders. The divine masculine with the queen of pentacles coins disappearing, which the gold coin is also the Christ consciousness, the unity consciousness. And it's that very high consciousness as opposed to the collective, which can be a lower vibration. The Christ consciousness is a very high vibration. So the queen of pentacles coins disappearing, fading away in the sixth dimension, right? Because we're fading into the 7D, which you can't see in this dimension anymore, or weak manifestation ability here, right? Because you instantly manifest into the 6D. Um, Queen Elizabeth was coming up here, losing her power, and bridging, which was so weird because what did I come up with? Oh, when I was in Bermuda, I bought a Bermuda coin that's, you know, it's in a necklace wrapped with wire. And it has Queen Elizabeth on it. And I didn't realize um, that she was on the coin that I'd gotten in Bermuda. But Queen Elizabeth losing her power and bridging with the Four of Swords. And I was getting the QE2 as well. Bridging with the Four of Swords in the midnight hour. I don't know if the QE2 is out right now, but I don't even know if the QE2 sails anymore, if it's another um, a newer ship. So now QE2 is also... So Q, Q could be coming up here. And the energy of two, also the energy of the queen, just of the divine feminine energy coming up as well. But again, the divine mask with the queen of pentacles, coins disappearing, fading away in the 6D or weak manifestation ability with Queen Elizabeth losing her power and bridging with the four of swords in the midnight hour. Meditation, break, rest, and beach and salt water coming up here. Bridging land and sea, right, where the sea and the land meet. The divine feminine is the 4D twin flames. Very outright there, right? Grounded in this reality, she is the twin flames. The 5D sovereign, grounded with crystals and nature. And in the 6D, she is the mother all grown up in the sparkling plasma energy here. The divine masculine with a psychic view on the spiral staircase up to the 5D reunion with family and the 6D queen of pentacles, pissing away money or it's just fading away because it's no longer needed in the 6D, but this is also what you're manifesting from the 4D. So the manifestation of the 6D on the ma masculine side is the queen of pentacles with the money, you know, perhaps being misused there. So bridging here is the Six of Swords, the Blue Ocean Dolphins, and Metatron's Cube. The 5D more aqua as opposed to blue, it's more blue-green, the aqua love, oceans, and the Holy Grail. So going from the Metatron energy of the sound and the deep blue oceans, but even though it was lighter and clear, then we go to a more aqua love of the mother love, the 5D oceans and the Holy Grail. The 6D, right? Because the Holy Grail of love is the mother. The 6D beached whale meeting at land and sea. And that was so weird because when I did the meditation yesterday, um, Jen didn't bring anything up about whales. And the first thing I saw was a whale coming in and kind of leading before the dolphins came in. So there's definitely whale energy there too. It was very beautiful energy. You know, I love bonding with the animals in my meditations because I am obviously very shamanistic that way and very connected to the animals. So the 6D beached whale, meeting at land and sea, the mother load of love, merging and the comp with the compromise of love, which isn't really a compromise at all because it's love. Merging similarities and complementing differences, which is the twin flame energy, right? You come together on the things that you identify the same with, which neither one of you are really great at, right? Because if you're really great at something, your twin's not going to be really great at that, right? Because you share the same energy. So the things that you're mediocre at, your twin's going to be me mediocre at. So you kind of meet on that level, but then you perfectly complement each other 
on the things that you're really good and bad at. So that energy was coming up as well. The divine masculine between the empress and the queen of pentacles thinking. The outgoing divine masculine is the world, the page of pentacles, curious about their abilities, and the king of cups, that unconditional loving man. And he could also be coming up with two girls here, the king of cups with two girls right next to him. They're both, I believe this was where they were both holding something in their right hand, like getting a grip on the world, on their world, becoming more independent. And this could be a, um, a, a child or a grown woman. It could be either, depends on your situation. Let me just look at that picture to make sure I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, so there's two girls next to the King of Cups. But one has the world in their right hand, the other one has a crystal ball in their right hand. So very different personalities, but both kind of getting a grip on what they're curious about for themselves and how they want to become independent. And then the Queen of Pentacles is coming up in on that side too, but kind of, you know, she's not in a positive energy. She's very stern and kind of, it looks like she's either wasting money or pissing away money or it's just fading away. No longer um, has power in the 6D. Also, there could be money just disappearing and there's no reason for it. And the mouse may be trying to figure out where the money's going. And again, yesterday that was coming up in my read as money being given to someone and then being used for something else. So given to somebody, and this could be too, you know, just not even having given the money, but if you share the same bank account, one partner could be giving money away to someone. The other partner has no idea that they're doing this and they may not agree and that's why they're not told. And it may be in a very irresponsible way. So the outgoing divine mass with the world, the page of pentacles and the king of cups, the world on display in her right hand the Page of Pentacles curious about the crystal ball in their right hand. The King of Cups with two girls and both ready to play ball with the King of Cups and unconditional love and the two cups connection in the Garden of Eden with peach flowers and peaches and pinks. A lot the past year when I've been doing meditations, especially group meditations, I get these beautiful pink and peach energies. And that was coming up again yesterday. Um, the Divine Feminine with Taurus. And there may be someone who's passed, who's coming up along with a Taurus energy connected to them on the Divine Feminine side. She's got the King of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands and the Sovereign on her side of the reed. Oh, I didn't even realize this though. That could literally represent my four siblings. So I, what, whoever they represent for you, but I just, I didn't realize that yesterday, but they're coming up, they could definitely be my siblings. And then the Divine Mass is coming up as the Pisces energy with the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, so mother and child energy or, or someone treating their partner like a child and then the King of Cups, that unconditionally loving or, you know, emotionally mastered father type of energy, which is that, you know, the ultimate father, really. So this read came up as the number 41, which is the Ace of Cups, self-love, spiritual love, new love, and outpouring of love, which was in the middle of the read. And this number came up totally separate in addition than what was in the read. So 41 is definitely very significant here. And this is just about, you know, the outpouring of love, us sending love to Syria, us sending love to the dolphins and the 5D towers, whatever resonates with your heart. You don't have to go along with what the group is doing. Find the group that resonates with what is most important to you and then send your love out because, of course, when you meditate with another, it builds up the momentum there. The horizontal pillars here were 13, 13, and 15. We're very interesting because we had double death here with 13 and 13 and the devil. So it definitely could be some kind of um, um, unnatural death here. The devil dog was coming up as well as double jeopardy and double indemnity with Scorpio and Libra. Then in the horizontal pillars, we had 7, 11, 11, and 10. So here's double justice with 11, 11. We have seven of the chariot, justice, justice, the 10 of the wheel of fortune, and the two of the high priestess. So the message coming up around double death, which also could be two gates, they're portals, but unnatural, two portals, the devil dog equaling the ace of cups, love, right? It's like the, 
a negative plus a negative is just a bigger negative, but a negative times a negative, which is exponential, becomes then a positive. So that is bringing up that energy right here. Ascending double justice, and this could be, um, it's like getting um, justice times two by the same action. It resolves two different situations at the same time. Destined secret love, or the high priestess or Pisces energy there. So we have two Libra energies, uh, three Libra, Libra energies on the bottom row, Cancer and Pisces. Okay, very different energy. Now that's much softer energy of Libra, Pisces, and Cancer than on the other side, which is Capricorn and double, you know, double um, Scorpio here with death and death. That's more intense energy over there. All right, so that was the union read. So then the twin flame read. Oh, and I didn't roll the die yet. So let's roll the die since we're now on the read in front of us. All right, for today, May 6, 2021. Okay, we have the moon, number five, and Taurus. And we're in Taurus. So the moon can be Cancer's energy as well. And the number five is the Hierophant, also of Taurus. So a lot of Taurus and then the moon, which is also representative of the false light. And it's also like a crescent shape of the moon. And we are mid-moon cycle right now, right? Between the full moon and the new moon. So we have Cancer and two Taurus energies with a lot of change. And there's the number five. And I was just, because I'm putting the dice over there, or the die over there, I was looking at the green and blue in the underlying energy and I'm getting that um, that royal energy of the um, the more of the indigo or the purplish and emerald colors of royalty that's coming up with those the dice the three wise men lining up here the threes wise men and the, and the royalty of moderation and healing which is that energy of being in the, at the zero point and the cards that came out, though, oh, that's so funny, I didn't realize that, are pink and peach, and then there was um, purple that came out as well. And that's the pink and peach I was just telling you about, which is beautiful energy. And that's the card that was coming up, too, the peach in the Garden of Eden energy. So this read for the Twin Flames, both the masculine and the feminine, again, there's a lot of you out there, it's a general read, so if something doesn't resonate with you, don't force it to fit. If you want something more personalized, you can always um, connect with me. My information's below in my website, twinflames3344.com. I have some music out there called um, Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames, if you want to check it out as well. It's only a dollar for a song. Um, it's my music. The first four songs are from the 9-11 era, and then the second seven songs from the Twin Flame Journey. Um, that final song from the Twin Flame Journey is actually to my mother, called Mother Mary. And if you want to check it out, it'll definitely bring up some wounds that maybe you haven't um, seen yet. So that's another way of clearing. So this is the, um, the Twin Flame read. And thank you guys all for sharing your time with me, too. I so appreciate you being here with me. I have the th uh, Syrian Starseed deck cut and dealt at 338 to 9, which is the three of the Empress, the mother load that came up in the Union energy, and then the 38 of the Queen of Cups, and then the 39 of the Knight of Cups. And then at 348, which is that 48 of the Eight of Cups, walking away and within, action came up, E-C and then T-I-O-N. So for me, my maiden name initials are E-C, and the T is the timeout, but it's also the toggling up, and the ION is the connection. So again, however that comes to you, whatever E-C means to you, or ho however you may break down that word in a different way, this is a chance for you to practice your psychic abilities, how does that connect for your situation? E, C, T of the timeout or the, or the toggling up or however you perceive it. And then the ion connection, which ion can also represent I being on. And the chakra system was definitely coming up today and yesterday. It is the lowercase I for me, but again, that represents the I, the I am that I am. And yesterday we were saying, I am, and then the ha energy of the crown, the ha. And then the om is the I, um, so I am can be om as well. 
which is that third eye energy and the ha of the crown. So that might be a little chant that you might want to try. And then at um, 49, which is the nine of cups, the get your wish card, and the self-satisfaction card, being happy with self, Zion was coming up, as well as the S ion, which is the Sophia connection, the grandmother connection. I finished clarifying at four right on the dot, which is double zero. So a lot of um, source energy backing up the four of the emperor, stability, building, right? And that's the energy of manifesting survival, as opposed to the eight, which is manifesting your dreams. The tower comes up here, reason, which is the emperor, which at four o'clock is all about the emperor. Ascension, which is the world. We are the world is coming up again. Reflection is the, the hermit energy. And then after the read, the star seed came up, which is like the fool. And again, um, seeds are coming up regarding planting, of course, gardens and things like that, and vegetables. We had two cups, three swords, one pentacle, one wand. So there's the 23 of the king of wands, which came up in the union read. And then the, um, and then the 11 of justice, which came up uh, double dose in the union read. So... Justice is always just truth and balance, and 23 is the king of wands, and that re relates to the the chromosomes of 23 and 23 being 46, and the 46 being the inner children. The king of pentacles, the queen of wands came up, and the page of swords in the reed. Before the reed, the page of wands, the queen of swords, and the king of cups came up. After the reed was just the wounded warrior, the nine of wands which isn't a court card, but it definitely is a character. So we had double threes. That was the only number doubled in this read. And we had the double indemnity and double jeopardy coming up, as well as double justice, which is like the double jeopardy. But the 33 is the Christ vibration. It's also the energy of the 369. The 33 of standing up for yourselves, the seven of wands, without getting defensive, taking the high ground. We also had the one of the magician, the six, seven of the Knight of Pentacles, the loyal, humble servant. The 10 of that very high vibrational trill of the 1010, which is also the, the, the numbers used in, in computerizing things of information. And then in a lesser sense, we had the 12 of the Hangman, the 23 of the King of Wands again, the 34 of the Eight of Wands, the energetic exchange between the masculine and the feminine, the 46 of the Six of Cups, the children hugging each other, the 78 of the Dream Family, the last card of the deck the heaven on earth. Um, then we have the eight, nine, 10 begin again. And again, just um, in a lesser sense between there, again, the 89 of the phi energy expanding and contracting as opposed to the 98 degrees human body temperature at balance. So the code line was all about compassion here with co compass and scion again, coming up separately here. And there were no numbers in the code line here. So the different messages coming through were to see the source, and they were specifying the mother source, the Sophia, the yes to the tower, the union and Sag energy, the page of swords, the seeker of blind men and orphans, because orb literally means thoughts and words, but it also means blind men and orphans. So the page of swords coming up here as the seeker of blind men and orphans, the mother and the moral man, right? Because she knows there's a beautiful child in every child, right? Even the ones who have lost themselves or perhaps gone in the wrong direction. The mother always takes all of the children in. And again, it's all about compassion here. Compass and Zion, which Zion is also coming up as the S and then the ION, the Sophia connection. The compass to the mother, the mother load. Um, to lie down, and again, the mother coming up here. If the tower union message of the moral man and with compass of Zion and being shunned also came up here, that the, mo the mother should lie down if a sudden event happens for union, a message from the moral man or following their compass to Zion or the Sophia connection, um, having been shunned, all of those energies coming up here, 
and also Shun. Isn't that like a, a, a Chinese performance or Japanese performance? I can't remember. But that could be coming up as well. Um, the number seven came up here as well as to sleep came up from multiple definitions here. So perhaps we need a lot of sleep right now. I haven't been sleeping well this week at all. Um, but the, ma the mother may be doing some higher traveling and that's why they need to sleep more. Maybe they're getting upgrades or being cleared in their sleep time and they need you to sleep more. Um, we have the C with your eyes, C with the ocean and your heart, the emotions, and C with the collective consciousness, the Christ consciousness, the sudden tower union, the seeker of one, the orb, or the word, like word, right? The first was the word, and then the sweet compassion of the word. And it only needs to be one, compassion. So to lie down, to laugh, very much coming up here. And again, um, milestones coming up here, you know, like... Um, 50th and 60th birthday parties and anniversaries coming up here, significant milestones. And to lie down, to laugh, the tower sags with the energetic exchange. And it's like the lines between the towers, you know, like electric lines. The towers and the sag of energetic exchange is literally drawing a picture of a wire between towers. And the vessel, the key to sleep, to steal or steal away. Um, and also the bird, the bush, the dog, the dog peeing in the bush, perhaps, the dirt and the key, the thigh and the kernel and the deaf not hearing something of the BS of the moral man, right? Not needing to listen to their own BS and follow their compass in the Sophia connection, the S connection. Remember the S on path becomes the eight becomes the dance between the masculine and the feminine. <sighs> to lie down, to sleep in water, to laugh, to crush your friend and be equal among men. The towers, semi-dark, agriculture, the number eight, the dance, the message to the moral man of compass and Zion or the Sophia connection. To see the source of the mother and also Miasma, so miasma and my asthma, to see the tower, the sag, the union, to see the dance with the sweet, with the suit of hearts, right? The king and queen of night and pages of hearts, the Inca wooden drinking vessel. So here comes the shaman of the Inca, American Indians, and the annoying flowering plant food and sweet compassion here which can be a trigger for some, right? When you're showing a lot of compassion for them, they may see you as weak. That's their weakness, actually. Um, the seventh or setima coming up or the hermaphrodites coming up to emasculate. The I, the lowercase I of the chakra system and third eye being the tower, safe and sound without the metal spoke of or rebellion. The E, compassion, energetic, Eve, Elohim, compassion of word and sweet compassion. And so weird that metal spokes came up because I was, I was looking up soldering stuff yesterday, which is like a, you know, a little uh, piece of metal wire. And so soldering and flux came up along with um, torching and the torch and the flame. And it's a very um, delicate process, right? Soldering, everything has to be aligned just so. And then you have to put some stickiness in there to hold it together, together first before you actually put the solder in to cement it for good. There's a message for you for sure. So the seventh or hermaphrodites half male. Again, we're talking about instead of being like considered all male, all female, we are dancing now between our own masculine and feminine, the eye chakra system, the tower safe and sound, right? Your Merkaba system without the metal spoke from the ethers I'm now getting 
without the metal spoke of rebellion, the E of energy, of compassion, of the, of the compass and the Sophia connection. And again, I'm getting the shun again. E shun. E shun. It can just be E, like somebody's letter, first name begins with an E, but it can also be the Elohim, the Eve, the energy, the Hierophant, the expansion, the freedom, the change. It's all about the five, which is the um, articulation, right? It's the middle of the numbers. It's the halfway point. And the word of sweet compassion. All about compassion here. There was no number on the line because they didn't want you to be distracted away from the compassion and especially the connection with the mother energy of the Sophia. The ion, and that can, you know, you could think of metals when you think of ion and the electrons connecting, right? Being very feminine and busy on the outside, either pulling. You know, the electrons go towards, the magnetic pulls toward it. But very much about the, um, the ions and connection here. At 539, which is the Hierophant and the 39 of the, nine, the Knight of Cups, is the Ace of Cups reversed where we start this read. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups here, which was also in the center of the Union read. With the clarifiers on top, five cards down, and then five cards out here at the end. So five cards down from the bottom up was the two of swords upright. Again, that 56 two of swords of being in your knowing, and this deck is very much floating on air. Kind of like being numb or just floating on the clouds with the page of wands reversed. And this deck, it's the Sekhmet energy, and it looks like a boy wearing a mask, a very tribal mask. So when he's reversed in this deck, which isn't the energy I get from other decks, but in this deck, when they're reversed, it's about taking the mask off and dousing the flame to become that Knight of Wands in this deck, which is the Knight of Wands with a slow burn. It's yellow, not red. We have the Page of Wands reversed and then the Queen of Swords reversed, who's either very wounded or she could be lying. She could be lying to herself. She could be verbally abusive and lashing out or she could be giving the silent treatment. The Three of Wands reversed right? The past, looking back, going back, living in the past or the past returning as the King of Cups is upright in that unconditional loving position. And then the Ace of Cups reversed. Now the Ace of Cups is usually a more purging type of energy, but it also could be tears of joy in certain situations. And here we have the King of Cups upright before the Ace of Cups. So he could certainly be crying tears of joy here, but most of the energy was coming up in the more negative sense of purging. So this is about the energy of knowing, but not telling, floating on air, removing the mask, and the Queen of Swords reverse coming up here as removing her sword, right? If the Page of Wands removes his mask, then the Queen of Swords has to remove her sword, right? They're both their weapons. Looking back at the King of Cups, the unconditional love, feeling overwhelmed, dumped, and purging. The third energy forced upon the Queen of Pentacles reversed, but now that the worst is over of being pushed to the emotional limit, sweating it out, the Knight of Swords is returning from the past to the Queen of Cups upright, moving, visiting, seeing self up ahead in the cold while the Divine Masculine with issues at work, rebuilding, losing patience and or their temper or seen as the fallen angel with Trinity and the Triangle reflecting bookends. Here we have the threes again in the triangles. Reflecting bookends. Oh, they want me to bring up, oh God, I didn't even get this yesterday. So the triangles I showed you, a long time ago I drew the triangles of the Bermuda Triangle because um, was it Bermuda? Um, there's one bigger island that reflects, I think it was Bermuda, reflects Cuba exactly, almost exactly, but Cuba's much smaller. Well, whatever it was, I'm trying to remember which one it was, but it's in that um, Bermuda Triangle energy because Bermuda Triangle is from Bermuda 
to Puerto Rico to the uh, Florida Keys. So that whole big space right there. And literally, the triangle I showed you yesterday was was two triangles, but one much bigger to the reflection of the other on a much smaller scale, which is now coming up as, is it Bermuda and Cuba? No, I'm trying to remember. But anyway, look on the map because the island, whatever it is, is a, a, a very similar shape to the other one on a much smaller scale. But that's coming up here. The Trinity and the Triangle, reflecting bookends, with fallen angel between, which is the Bermuda Triangle, when we're talking about what I'm talking about, and then the Sagi, or for me, that's Mr. Ed, God, the God energy, or sagging, or to leave in a huff, right? Things disappear in the Bermuda Triangle. It's like a portal gate to leave. Or pushed out, or closed for reno renovations, or turning into a religious center, impatient to get it done. So this is representing, this can represent the Bermuda Triangle, but also um, a business here that they're talking about. And whenever we talk about the place of work, it's really about the place of co-creation. So for some, that could be school, others could be the church, could be the art center, the gym, whatever is um, significant for you as, a, as to where you create. Or Gabriel creation was damaged. So this could be a statue of Gabriel also that was damaged or somebody's creation but Gabriel's involved here, and Gabriel's all about, right, the communication of God. Gabriel's creation was damaged or closing their doors. And it's talking about the Bermuda Triangle, too. Like, there's some something was interfered with in the portal right there, right, and used for nefarious reasons until now, I guess, we're getting because they're bringing it up. The Queen of Cups moving in. So two must find other quarters in a hurry, right? The Queen of Cups is the, the mother of love, right? Love, kindness, and um, intu intuition. She's moving in, so two must find another qu other quarters in a hurry. And again, they were just talking about that with the Bermuda Triangle, right? Where things disappear in a hurry. Um, an ill person may be left out in the cold, implementing a plan to end unhappy family or unhappy situation or a, an emotional cycle that's just so overdone. The emotional cycle, um, there's definitely embarrassment here and lacking faith. The sound of music family never came to fruition. The plan failed. The Ferris wheel is down or someone fell off a ride, or fell at work after putting all their money into something, and then it fell apart. Somebody falling on their face from grace, lacking faith, and embarrassed. Um, and literally, it could be someone falling off of a ride at an amusement park. And this could have been something that happened in the past. It doesn't have to be current. The hills have eyes. Um... The hills have eyes not alive with the sound of music, all right? So it's more of that negative energy come in, taking over what was to be the sound of music type of family. The very soon coming up here and beneath that was the soulmate. Kicked out of the family or unhappy emotional cycle, way overdone. Sweet judgment on the divine masculine, perhaps by a Leo with big palms and feet. Leo tackling the boar, strong arming them. The knight of swords stunned by what they see while cracking the whip with the kids or fishing and caught the page of wands reversed making out or the page of wands reversed took off their mask or the page of wands is a Leo shoving the boar's snout in the water. And this could literally be a, a kid abusing the pet. The Leo shoving their snout in the water or covering their nose and mouth so they can't breathe or trying to pull out their tooth with a yank or riding the animal with no underpants on. So it can be animal abuse by a child, or it can be a child abusing another child, um, or it can be an adult acting like a child, doing something very abusive. But again, it's most of it's coming up is that more innocent energy of like a kid riding the dog, or caught doggy style. Again, there's one or the other, something very innocent, 
a child running around naked, or this could be, you know, a kid getting caught having sex, or the parents getting caught having sex by the child, or kids caught watching porn, or someone's getting their mouth washed out with soap, seeing someone you know making out on TV, or Ben-Hur riding them too hard until they passed out. Moderation comes up here as number 14, which is the temperance card, uh, and beneath that healing of the 66 of the Queen of Pentacles. And again, this could be abuse from someone's childhood also coming up. Um, frustrated, abused, unable to understand, issues at workplace with justice at hand, justice at hand, but then I'm also getting hard and ship, and then the ship sailed, justice at hand and ship sailed, or washed out to sea, or all washed up, or divorce, a gift. Before, oh, okay, so, or divorce, or it may be a gift for somebody before they sailed off to sea. So someone might have, maybe someone's been asking for a divorce for a long time and someone finally gave it to them before they just left, um, took a boat and left. Um, but again, it can just be a divorce or getting a gift before a divorce before they or before they went off on a journey to sea. Viking, Baltic, Nordic, and grass and Chinese all come up here, starting over under the radar or feeling a failure, imprisoned, trapped, or set up at 610, which is the lovers, and a turn for the better. So something negative could, you know, it could be like a du double negative turning into a positive, like we talked about earlier with double indemnity and double jeopardy. And again, that something times something or, or exponentially then makes it a positive as opposed to something plus another or something. So we have underlying energies here of Sag, Aries reversed, and then Leo, Aquarius, and Libra upright. At 611, the lovers and justice, and this was on 5-5. Five, five. A dark agenda taking over, dumping all that was good and loving and imprisoning them. And this can be a, a business where all of a sudden, maybe someone had to sell out because they were losing money. So they had to sell a portion of their business to someone to partner up. And now that partner is turning their business into a dark agenda that they don't resonate with at all. Um, no sense in being, no sense of humor here about workplace issues, but justice in seeing that ship sail, standing over or starting over under the radar, perhaps with hostage or feeling trapped or set up, or one who may be hostile or in a hostile. Anxiety, fear, prison, trap, and the trap keeps coming up here today. Dumped, purging, overwhelmed, the fallen angel, losing patience or temper, and embarrassing self in front of the page of wands reversed, after teaching them moderation. The king of swords reversed may be lying to himself or no peaceful place to go, overworking and or where things are not working out. Perhaps he choked or spoke too soon or made a bad call or no call at all, ready and needing to swallow their pride. So going forward after this read, because that was the very underlying energy, after we finish this read is sharing, settling out, depressed, falling short, or falling off the wagon, holding back their true passions, and paralyzed by their emotions, unable to function in a deception or up before dawn. And I definitely didn't sleep well last night. Uh, I, did a I didn't sleep, so like at 4 o'clock I did a clearing from 4 to 5, and then I fell asleep till 9, so I got a little bit of sleep. But those kind of energies were also coming up last night. So 620 is the lovers and the judgment. The king of cups released. The Queen of Wands with Leo, she can be a Leo reversed or have Leo in her chart, or this could be kids or pets out of control. She could be out of control, but she's coming up upright. The Leo is coming up reversed. So there's also definitely energetic exchange energy between the Page of Pentacles upright, which can be a student or an opportunity, an invitation, um, you know, a new venture. And the Queen of Swords reversed, where the worst is over with what's not been working out and now and has been reviewed here. The recent past is the Six of Swords reversed, with no peace, 
with the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, or the world at large, upright, so it's a very abundant energy, getting over a loss of the Empress Reverse, perhaps she's passed recently, and journeying on to clean up the mess from recent sudden events to let go, or that could be Southeast as well. I don't know if any, um, any kind of natural disasters have happened in the Southeast. I haven't been watching the news. But to clean up a mess from recent sudden events to let go and repair, to fix and amend. Suffering in silence or dealing with your sister and ending the nightmare, dumping a load, burden, responsibilities, and the page of swords reversed, taking a break, or lied and was suspended. So this could be suspended from a job, suspended from school, with Taurus and Scorpio both reversed, which are on each other's axis here. So there's definitely that axis coming up. So somebody's reputation, the Taurus and Scorpio reverse, both of them, are coming up regarding reputation between them. And it's very intense, though, because they're both coming up in a negative aspect here. The foundation being reason, or the emperor upright, the logical man, with the queen of swords and the page of swords both reversed here, which can be a mother and child, or the queen of swords with a negative message or bad news. She also could be spreading rumors or lying and the hermit shedding light on it, or kids getting guidance for getting in trouble or lying. Um, we have Aries, Leo, and Virgo all upright here, being strong, taming the beast or the pet, the nine of cups reversed, unhappiness with self, or never satisfied and tripping up, or always getting hurt and going back to the doctor. Are they, but are they doing this to seek attention? Like, is this attention seeking behavior? You know, like a child who doesn't get attention from the parents who always gets hurt or gets in trouble at school so they'll get some kind of attention. The central energy here is the 10 of swords reversed. Which is about the worst being over and the bliss setting in and the center energy, which is actually very positive. The devil waving as an announcement's made, and that can be temptation or Capricorn. Capricorn and Aquarius both upright here, and the King of Wands reversed. Tempted to end it all now. But I wasn't getting someone suicidal, although I guess perhaps he could, and please call someone to help you out if that's the case. Um, you'll, there's always a new perspective in the morning. Um, but this also can be um, the King of Wands reversed. Tempted to end it all now regarding a job, a relationship, a situation, um, just sick of something that's been going on for a long time. Perhaps a child called to the principal's office or they had to pick up a child due to illness or injury at school. The ch and this could be like a parent who's sick of it because they always have to leave work to go pick up their child, but they do it over and over and over again. Um, the challenge being the tower reversed, avoiding risk, the emperor with the 10 of pentacles, family, business, or community, or the world at large, and the emperor can regard politics as well, not waiting, not wanting to get sued. All right. So this could be someone avoiding something because they're worried about, um, you know, getting sued, obviously. So uh, this could be an emperor, too, who's comfortable. He doesn't want to go forward in a business like he's comfortable with what he has. He's got plenty of money. And if he pursues it further, especially if he's taking taking on a new partner who he deems as negative energy, um, he, he's worried about. Um, having major issues in the future. So he may be trying to like uh, cut his losses and leave the situation. Deception at the workplace or school or church. No peace with unstable home, move or visit. And the Knight of Pentacles upright offering help to the King of Pentacles reversed or a child helping out a father. The Knight of Pentacles also offering something healthy to the King of Swords reversed. And he may have a big ego or going through awakening to come clean about risky behavior at hand, to close the distance gap with the chariot, which also can be the car or the vehicle of ascension or travel, or a two bull split here, and the hermit missing their flame, love connection, and the devil temptation or Capricorn coming up here with the queen of pentacles reversed, along with justice, divorce, or Libra between the queen of pentacles reversed and the empress reversed, which can be an older woman and a younger woman, or a mother and a spouse, or a mother and a daughter, um, no longer confused and dumping emotional attachments. So that also could be a grandmother and granddaughter at 638, which is the lovers and the queen of cups. 
Um, that can also be a mother and daughter who are very much alike because they're both coming up reversed in that earth energy. So we have the now moment here crowning with the king of pentacles reversed, healing and forgiving, confessing perhaps in a breakup situation or lack of affection, dumped, purging, overwhelmed with the knight of cups offering love while trapped in prison at the same time or just feeling trapped or entrapped. The six of cups upright, the two children loving each other with the Knight of Cups reversed, who was jealous or rejected before, and that can be just be a moody child as well, or a schmoozer, right? They kiss up to people to get what they want, but they don't really mean it. They're not being loving. The Knight of Pentacles offering help to, right? He's the lo loyal, humble servant. Could be a she as well. But offering this help to the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords, both reversed here. With the Queen of Swords also reversed, hiding her face, and remember, the King of Pentacles is Akashic Records. So again, here's the King and Queen of Swords with Akashic Records between them. And the King and Queen of Wands were coming up in the Union energy with Akashic Records between them. And then the Page of Wands reversed, starting over. They could be frustrated, taking off the mask, um, uninspired, or they could be sick as well. But starting over in uncomfortable energies of feeling powerless to the Magician reversed who may be insecure or manipulating the Queen of Swords reversed in an all business relationship, closing the distance gap, awake and drained, depressed, kept quiet or muzzled, playing hardball now, withholding from the Page of Cups reversed, who may just feel rejected, or it could be a spoiled child too, they're playing hardball with, about money especially, but they can also be coming up as vulnerable or spoiled and no longer sitting on the fence with the Knight of Swords rushing in with the truth of castration while marking their territory. Um, this could be as old fashioned. It's like um, someone was trying to do something in an old fashioned way or they are old fashioned and as the Knight of Swords was rushing in with the truth, which was castrating to the masculine energy while marking their territory as old fashioned lovers out in the cold romance. The King of Cups and unconditional love with the High Priestess or Secret or Capricorn and Pisces here. Soon as the Queen of Wands upright with her hands in it all, the Queen of Cups focusing on her heart to release her from Taurus upright, a marriage, a commitment, a contract, um, societal norms or the traditional way of doing things in their family or the magician reversed, an insecurity and manipulation. The Queen of Cups sharing or settling out, dumping emotional attachments to death, dark night of the soul, or the dark night, which can be the divine masculine, or Scorpio, um, or transition here, transformation, traveling, or Scorpio is with cancer in a 5D connection. It could just be the can it could be Scorpio in a 5D connection with cancer, or Scorpio is with a cancer who's in a 5D connection with the King of Swords reversed. The Two of Cups connection by the chakra system and Michael coming up here over it with the King of Swords reversed, if lying, ignoring, or being a jerk. So it's saying like they're done if this King of Swords reversed comes in lying, ignoring, or being a jerk. Or the Queen of Wands retained a lawyer, perhaps a Gemini reversed, issues at work with the Emperor, Hierophant, and the Magician reversed or someone who's manipulative, or Cancer, uh, Cancer, Gemini, or Virgo coming up reversed, and then Aries and Taurus coming up upright here. And then the Twin Flames, seeing themselves as Ascension, but the world is, re is um, reversed here. So the Ascension world on its ear, presenting truth to connect with the Emperor without a lover or without affection, the Page of Pentacles, curious but keeping it to themselves, and Libra reversed in an energetic exchange with the Knight of Wands reversed, who's falling short or afraid of their own desires and purging a lot at night trying to end or end the nightmare, perhaps in a nightmare breakup or a nightmare ex. Pisces reversed, an Emperor upright, Gemini, Libra, and Sag all reversed. So everyone's reversed except for the emperor here, which is Aries. The divine feminine with the whole truth and the emperor with a problem X 
or denying his own desires after just ending a nightmare with his ex, perhaps, or an ex-partner. Give your relationship a chance. Passion comes up and make the effort. Around the twins or how they may be seen is the seven of cups reversed. Someone who's no longer confused or dumping emotional attachments, perhaps having a yard sale or clearing emotions out. The wounded warrior surrendering uh, to the queen of wands upright and the king of wands reversed. And the wounded warrior could be someone separate from them, but it definitely can be the queen of wands upright who's now surrendering to the king of wands who's still reversed with his back turned. Impatient to end the war, but the king of wands reversed may not be working or it's not working out and he's still fighting or on a quest, but he's he may be still pissed off at her. Um, fallen angel surrendering. And it can also be someone who's the queen of wands may have been the one who resisted a break here or whatever the situation is. And now she's finally surrendering to it. And now he's pissed and he's like saying, you know, not so easy here, you know, after she put him through the ringer. So fallen angel surrendering as the queen of wands, but the king of wands may be pissed off with his back turned as the fight goes on. The challenge or the block for the twins here is the page of swords reversed. That can be bad news. It can be rumors and lies and spying and negative self-talk. Scorpio and Cancer or Dark Knight and the warrior, the wounded warrior, taking a break, a rest, or laying it to rest with the King of Swords reversed and compassion. So it was seven on the nose here. So a lot of source energy backing up the seven and seventh came up in the code line as well. So the seven is the calm before the storm, the quiet of the mind, right? The illness, the vacation, seven is the chariot and the ascension energy, the vehicle of ascension, right? The power of the moment before the storm, the 11th hour, the zero point and the surrender here, very significant along with the spiritual career, depressed and pushed out of bed. Like it's like no, someone's no longer trying to wake someone up. Now they're getting pushed out of bed. Whether this, is a, whether this is a child who won't get up for school or whether this is someone who refuses to wake up in the awakening and now they're getting pushed out of bed, they're not going to try to wake them up anymore. You either wake up or get out. Depressed and pushed out of bed. Um, Aquarius, reverse letting go here. And then at 7.01, the hermit or Virgo standing up to the upside down world. That also could be a professional person or an old man or the Divine Feminine in the 5D, or Pisces reversed, about lovers out in the cold together, Capricorns, two devils, and that double devil came up in the union read. The Queen of Pentacles reversed, Justice with the Empress reversed, dumping emotional attachments. Again, this could be a mother and daughter, or an older woman and a younger woman, and justice or divorce between two women, or a Libra between them. Dumping emotional attachments, or no longer confused about their options. Um, we have Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra all upright here. Um, Taurus is reversed. The Hermit released and shedding light on the King of Cups or unconditional love and the High Priestess or secret. Or the Pisces, King of Cups. Or the King of Cups with an aid or religious woman. Or two water signs there. Given a choice of path, looking back at their bad habits and the need to clean up their act, released from medical care as well, or released from school, released from a church, or released for break, arrest, 5D connection, for the star seed or fool reversed, and the wounded warrior reversed, making fools of themselves at work, school, church, the gym, wherever it is for you, the art center, with justice for all. Libra on top here at the end. Aries surrenders just after released, or surrenders to being released from a job or a marriage or a hospital or a, a care facility. The King of Cups here, knowing the Page of Wands reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed, which again, in the beginning, they were dropping their mask and their sword, their, their, their um, tools of destruction, so to speak. In the past, may have been bad influences to the King of Cups, these two. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed, crying all the time. The Emperor with reason of their upside down world 
or a Pisces reversed, or the Divine Feminine in the 5D no longer confused, with no peace in sight, the worst though is now over, challenged by a mess to clean up. The Queen of Wands upright with bad news, to or from the King of Pentacles reversed, that could be a Virgo or Hermit energy, or a professional, released on break, or released to rest, perhaps after a fall and or surrender with issues at the workplace. So someone might have to go home because they hurt themselves or they're leaving the hospital because they really got hurt, but now they're on rest. The King of Cups overwhelmed with the Queen of Pentacles reversed with no peace, imprisoned and trapped with logical emperor. The worst now is over with the King of Pentacles reversed, which can be a greedy man or someone who's ungrounded or lost money and status this year, challenged by avoiding changes or after sudden events or sudden epiphanies with a mess to clean up. The world upside down or incomplete with the Queen of Wands going back downstairs, perhaps with bad news or to lie about the Page of Swords reversed in, um, in more trouble again with the Hermit shedding light or they were just at the doctors and the doctor was shedding light for them. The Hermit releasing to rest, break or 5D connect and no foolish activities and to surrender. Again, it's that energy of someone being put on rest and they're not allowed to work. And that could be multiple different situations. And that was at 719. So someone could get released from their job or released from the hospital, get released from prison, but you know, they're on, you know, furlough or they're on some kind of work release program where they're only allowed so much and it's 12 on the dot right now, right? High noon, double zeros of source embodiment. Um, backing up the 12 of the hangman and seeing new perspectives here at 719, which is the chariot and the sun, and 11637 here, which is the magician, the tower, and unconditional love. So magician embodiment um, and a sudden event or epiphanies of unconditional love here. Okay, so now we're going to make sure I don't have any other messages there, and then we're going to pull some oracle cards for you guys. Yeah. All right. So again, today we're, our energies are in the 16 of the tower and the lovers. So from the, uh, the animal spirit deck at 1201. And remember there's lots of Taurus energy and then the moon, which is cancer, um, from the die. And remember, we had double death, too. And I just talked about the dye. And that can be dye, like color dye as well. An indigo color, right? Because there's a lot of natural plants of indigo. Or there may be a few, rather. Somebody might be doing, like, a natural dye business. And then, again, the royal colors coming up of purple and, and, and emerald and indigo. Very much so in the cards and the die. So the upper chakra system. All right, let's see what the uh, spirit animals have to say here. The ocean blue. I'm getting algae for the emerald. And then the nightingale is coming up for the purple. And we have the hummingbird too. Look at that. Really high vibrational song and sound. And then the shark is beneath them over here. Um, hold on a second. All right. So the bottom of the deck is the oyster, right? And the oyster is protected, right? Because they can close their shell and no one can get in unless it's a little piece of bacteria, which then grows the pearl. And there's the panther beneath the oyster trying to get in, but they're frustrated. You know, it's like in the in Jurassic Park where the dinosaur is trying to get into a human that's, you know, in a rock or something like that. That frustration of the, the enemy not being able to get to them because they've put up their boundaries. They have strong boundaries and it's pissing them off. You know, it's like that person who wants to trigger you on purpose 
And then no matter what they do, you say, say, I'll be happy to speak to you when you're in a calmer place. And then that just pisses them off more. That's the energy I'm getting here. And I definitely dealt with someone like that in the past. Their bark was definitely worse than their bite, but still, especially if you're at the work situation, you're feeling controlled by people who are above you in status. That could be coming up. So we have these two beautiful high vibrational songbirds here and also their wings that, you know, go very, very fast. And what they're showing me is that this one's got natural protection, but this one's using their voice for protection, right? Because we don't have that circle around them. They're using their voice. And grounding. They're standing on the world. They're standing on the earth and singing. So not only is can you radiate protection, right? Your natural light. You can use that through your voice and by standing on the earth when you're not in flight. And then here's the shark looking the other way. They're not even picking up on them because the shark is of that low vibration, right? They want to kill something. They don't even notice their energies around because they're such a high vibration. It's not on their sonar, not on their radar. Okay, they're in a totally different realm. This is like the 3D and the 4D splitting from each other. So the, the, four, the shark is now going after the dragonfly. But why is this, right? Why would a shark even run into a dragonfly? And I'm getting the chakra system again here. Have, and if you've never seen um, the dragonfly mate, when they mate, they become a stick flying in the air because they're, they join together like a stick and you don't see their wings at all. And then they collapse onto a plant into a heart shape and that's how they mate. It's really beautiful actually. I saw that for the first time when I was in France. It was so beautiful. I was like a little kid running around this beautiful lake after I'd been to this Mary Magdalene farmhouse where this sheepdog greeted, like was this like the softest, lightest paws ever. Like they greeted a, me and a couple others like they had known us forever. They just came up to us out of nowhere. And you know how like a dog can be very invasive with their heaviness. And this dog just, you know, got up on their hind legs. And so, and it wasn't a small dog, just gently put their paws on our chest to say hello. They were so sweet. And then that was the Mary Magdalene um, chapel that I went in where I was connecting to my inner child. Um, usually when I go into old churches and stuff, I get really nauseous because I'm empathic and I pick up on all the old energies. But in this chapel, I knew I'd been there before. I'd been a child there before. And I, I looked into a corner. I said, I would, that's my corner over there. So I went over there to feel it. And I'm, I'm sure you may have heard this story, me telling this story before. But when I went into that corner, while well, I was with the group, because they were all at the um, altar and just feeling the energies in the church. I went over to that corner and um, uh, my camera went off by accident because I went to push the volume down. And so I looked at the third picture and the third picture, the two were really blurry, but the third one was of the floor because it was an all stone chapel. And there was one uh, block on the floor that was different than the others, but it was under the uh, bench in front of me and under the leg next to the wall. So I couldn't see all of it unless I got down to look. Um, between the leg of the bench. There were very small benches. It was like little kid benches in there and the wall. So I bent down and got, you know, I was already in this spot that I knew I was a little girl here. And when I looked down at the, um, at the stone behind the foot of the pillar against the wall, there was literally an etching of a little girl um, like on her knees. And then when I looked at it later, because I have it uh, colored in so people could see what I saw, because it's very obvious to me, but you know, some people may not see things the same way you do. So I'd colored them in, but not only is it a little girl, it's also Mary Magdalene and Jesus together in the same picture. It was very cool. So, and then I found a note in the wall right there as well. It was the only note put in the wall in the whole church. So it was a very significant spot. And then later we found that at lunch, that that indeed, not the altar, because we were guided to the altar, because the altar is on the energy line. But when the guy writing the book about the place came to lunch, um, said that right where I was standing was actually the main vortex of the church. So it was definitely meant to be, and I'd definitely been there before. And I was like that just in the South of France in general, running around like a little kid. So I don't know why I need to bring that up, but again, the energy of the dragonfly and the chakra system 
Oh, I'm getting shock to the system. Sonar and shock to the system. Sonar waves. And this could be the 5D towers coming up as well. Right, because the shock goes by their senses, not by their eyes, because they're really blind. Blind. <sighs> I'm getting the Bermuda Triangle here too. It's like, um, it's like the shark bumping into the dragonfly because it's not on their sonar, right? They're not detecting it because of the high vibration chakra system here. And it's bumping into just their energy. It could be a shock to the shark's system. So it's saying when a 3D person bumps into a 4D person or higher, um, it may be a shock to their system, so they may get triggered. Well, that's the message I'm getting now. And then the third set of cards that came out are the bat and the wolf. <laughs> and they look like the same character, only in a much smaller version, just like the two triangles I described before, right? The same character in a smaller version. And of course, there's wings too here. And the earth is coming up here. You know, the wolf is very grounded. And the wolf is like stunned. He's like, like, no fair. I wish I had wings so I could fly. Because he's seeing this little mouse-like creature who seems like a little version of him, but he's got wings. And yet, why is this little mouse so scared? And the, the, the wolf is just looking at him so curiously. <laughs> he's not feeling um, offensive at all. He's just very curious about the bat. I wonder what it would be like to be able to fly around. And the bat is seeing himself as a little mouse and he's saying, it's kind of scary up here. I don't think, you know, I don't think you'd like it very much. So it's like um, two having a discussion about the grass is greener on the other side. All right, the grass is greener. He's the grounder, the etheric realm, right? It could be scary up here and he's like, yeah, but it can be boring down here, <laughs> right? So it can be like the ground, again, again, the grounding and triangular partners were coming up yesterday. The grounding twin and the etheric twin. The energies of grounding each other. When you have to go, when you have to do etheric work, perhaps getting a grounding partner, maybe uh, coming back again. I saw some of that in the beginning of the journey back in like 2016 and 17, but I haven't really seen that at all in the past couple of years. It may be coming back again and there may be new waves awakening, which may be the reason for that. So let's see from the, the Lenormand deck. This is the Gilman, the Gil, Gilman. Um, I was just getting Gilda Radner. Oh, that's weird. So Gilda Radner's coming up. The Gilded Reverie Lenormand deck. I wanted to say that right for you. But Gilda Radner coming up. And then, um, what's her husband's name? I'm blanking out. He's so funny. Um, he was young Frankenstein, right? What's his name? All right, so let me uh, give you a card here for the Twin Flames. <sighs> Take another deep breath. It's 12-12 on the clock. 12, 12, two people hanging out, seeing a new perspective. And there's the key, the key to your heart, the key to your cage to let yourself out. And there's emerald energy on there, the emerald order. And the emerald was coming up as algae. Um, and obviously there's so many uses for algae, but algae is a pain in the butt, right? Because it causes problems in the waterways. So there's gonna the key is algae to you know to transmute the energy of the algae and use it for for positive purposes. Obviously, it's very healthy, but there's going to be more ways to use it. So you may be one of those people who might want to investigate that or open the open the lock around that. Again, there's opening the heart, opening to nature, opening the cage, getting yourself out in any which way it is. You have the key. You are from the Emerald Order if you're a twin flame. And then we have the, that's 33. We also have the 32 here, which is the journey. And then the Christ consciousness here, the Christ vibration. And this is the moon energy. Um, over here, we have the eight of, of uh, pentacles, which is the work that needs to be done. 
right, to open the cage, to uh, for your keys, your downloads, to open up your abilities, and you know, work to align with your abilities to open up new key codes, and then the eight of hearts, which is the eight of cups, which is the walking away and within. So again, it's the work, and then the walking away of the eight and the eight, and this is again the grounding the grounding and the etheric mechanisms here of the journey and then the Christ consciousness, right? The journey is grounded, they're walking on the ground, and then here is standing up for yourself and opening the key codes here. And there's something about the um, being capped off, the moon being capped off, because now it's being cleared, right? There was a dark agenda being living in the moon and now that's been cleared. And now there's like a magnifying glass here showing the lunar cycles. It's like long nails, like long nails, like someone with really long kind of, um, you know, I don't know how you function with long nails like that coming out, uh, holding up the magnifying glass of the lunar cycles. And again, this is like a holder for a globe for the world, not for the moon, but the globe is missing, but the globe is in the other card. Hold on one second. All right. So I had to put out the other cards first. All right. So remember the bat, there's the earth, the globe, but it's missing from this globe stand with the moon above it. And there's the bat related to that, right? Batman and the moon is the false light, right? The moon only reflects the sun. It isn't the sun's light. It's, um, a, you know, it's a satellite. It's not, it's empty. So, we have the double eights here, okay? So the twin flames, one doing the work, right? The grounding work, and then the one walking away and within, right? So there's always that 3D, 5D type of energy, the key codes, and then grounding the false light, right? Transmuting those lights, walking the grid and holding the grid light, 32 and 33 and the double eights, but I'm also getting the double indemnity, indemnity, the double jeopardy. The double date, the double deal, double dealing, any double stuff coming up, but it was definitely around justice and death. And the devil came up there too. And what's the movie? Double, is it called Double Jeopardy? That one's coming up too. I think I just saw the ad on Netflix too. All right, so that's coming up. The next two cards that came up from this deck were, it's really kind of like the Four of Swords cards of the tomb. And then here's the pain in the butts, right? Chewing up the whole place. And that's coming up as the King of Wands and the Eight of being strong. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles here, the Sovereign, and the Seven of Wands here which is standing up for yourself, that's that same as the 33 Christ vibration, right? When the kids are taken over, to stand up for yourself. They don't run your world, you run your world, right? These are half-eaten fruit left out to go bad, chewing up the wires, you know. And is it literally mice in your house or is it your kids doing this? And this could be, you, you could be pets too, and I've been talking about that all month, about kids and pets out of control. So there's definitely that energy coming up here and the King of Wands needs to stand up for themselves and he's in control of his environment, not the kids or the pets, right? Doing all this stuff. This also can be a partner who's like that. Maybe they're messy or they have lots of pets and they don't clean up after them and they let the kids run wild. So this is the nine of, of, of pentacles, sovereign. And again, don't forget, the children need boundaries. They don't know how to make boundaries when they're little. They need the parents' help to show them how to create boundaries, healthy, natural boundaries, not to let them run wild to be whoever they want to be. There are going to be boundaries because otherwise they'll hurt themselves or otherwise they may hurt other people. There have to be some boundaries in place in a loving way, of course. And then here is the rest, the break, the 5D connection. And here's that connection. I'm getting electrical connections, right? And somebody's trying to chew through that connection. Well, this came up before too, you know, making sure your cord is healthy between you and your twin, that energetic connection, that there's um, 
there's interference there of dark energies or kids or partners trying to trying to destroy the connection between the twins even though they really can't destroy the full connection but they can damage it they can come between you especially at this point I don't think they can damage it all, at all I mean they can damage it they can't uh, destroy it at this point I think the energies are too high vibrational for them to be able to do that anymore I'm seeing copper kettle and teapots here but it's all about the copper here copper wires and again when you're sleeping this is definitely a picture of someone sleeping with the mice chewing on the wires so again the king of wands and the sovereign and the king of wands standing up for themselves so they don't burn the kids don't pets don't burn the house down and there's an ankh in here and a rod and staff type of energy of the sovereign in the tomb laying it to rest and there's kind of a this could be like a wolf energy that came up over here you know who's not being aggressive at all but I'm also getting the hyena energy that was coming up, you know, kind of behind the scenes making fun of what's going on, like snickering in the background. There's really pretty colors in the bottom of this card that you can barely see. It's like kind of tools of the trade down below for use if you notice that they're there. So if you don't pay attention, you won't find the keys and the tools, right, to open up the tomb to open up the treasure and again see these wings down below the tomb this is reminding me of the um, the iron cross wings that were the Nazi wings above the cross the iron cross so there's something about the Germans or the Nazis that's been hidden away under the tombs and what who just came up with that was German you know, a statue that just came up recently that's a German statue. I just brought it up. Very, very old. That might be, there might be something found from the Nazis under a tomb. Or since the Nazis were brought up along with the, um, the other energies today of the Iron Cross, the Neo Neapolitan era. Yeah, so like when something got destroyed... They were able, they found something, a new tomb. So somebody, it was also maybe we're working um, to find new findings and they found something, but I feel like it was found by accident. So remember that when things happen, it's, there's usually a reason for it, like a blessing in disguise. This may be even a house, like maybe there's a house fire, which obviously is a scary thing, but maybe you found something hidden in the walls. It was just 1221, that was important. And it's 1222 now, which is like a new lease on life, right? To the full, with an open heart, taking a leap of faith. You might find something in the walls. And this may be something in the walls, uh, which is valuable. Maybe you find a dead body in the wall. Maybe you find something that proves your point, that someone was at fault here, not you. And then we have these three cards coming up of the nine of hearts, the one of the magician, and the um, you know self-satisfaction energy here, the 38 of the Queen of Cups with all four suits and the bridge between. She's the loving, kind, intuitive. And there's like a, a post right there, like the middle of the bridge where the Queen of Cups is hanging out at zero point. And then the 44, which is, I just told you my numbers, 33 at 38 is my soul number, 44 is my life lesson number. Very interesting. But again, the magnifying glass, being able to look up closely at things to see something that others may not have seen was there. Again, the bridge, and here's the rainbow. Look at that, the rainbow bridge, and there's like the 3D bridge, and then, then here's the, the magnifying glass, taking a closer look. It's like going back over the bridge, back to 3D, to take a closer look at something, feeling like you missed something. I missed something, I have to go back. Remember, and the 44 is about having full control over every little detail of your life. The 44 of the Atlas energy and the Queen of Cups and the Magician embodiment. 
and the bridge over troubled waters because you there's no water there's two bridges here look twin bridges i didn't even notice that before and there's no water seen just very high towering bridges that i don't know if they're actually stable or not and here's on the the, the carousel the merry-go-round and the rainbow bridge riding the like you know when you're going over to 5d you can ride anything you want you can ride that carousel horse you know which could be a unicorn it could be um, a centaur it could be pegasus but that horse energy has been coming up um the past week or two and then we're going over twin bridges to take a closer look at things oh look it looks like um, the chevrons it's like you know that's a military uniform again the nazis were coming up so taking a closer look we also have the energy of the star here there's one two there's seven points on this flower which most flowers do not have seven points i think there's one flower that does but they, most of them have five or six petals i believe and there's seven on this one and that's i'm getting the third reich the second reich Anyway, there's two chevrons there. Again, the twin bridges. Check out the twin bridges. There is a message there. Oh, it's so weird. Where I'm going, um, has there's twin bridges near there. So it's making me curious. There's a lot of twin bridges around the country, but that may, you may be being called to take a closer look at the twin bridges. And they're like, these are like, you know, bird houses I'm getting, you know, like um, tweets and the zero point, but the zero point up here is more oval shaped. Right, the O of the zero as opposed to the O of the circle. One is the egg and one is the O. Right, one is the egg, is the feminine etheric energies, and one is the grounding mechanism, the more masculine energies, the you know the lower bridge, the grounding mechanism. And again, the amusement parks were coming up. There's something about the the amusement park with the Ferris wheel and the merry-go-round, the carousel. I'm getting the mulberry bush right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ring around the rosy and the mulberry bush and amusement parks and magnetization feeling magnetized back over the bridge or to the twin bridges and there's something about an amusement park or a carousel or a or um some kind of horse whether it's a, there's some kind of trigger for you that's a rainbow bridge type type of trigger with a horse whether it's a centaur the pegasus a carousel ride um the chakra system represented here by the pole the north pole the rod and staff. Drilling, so drilling for oil. Yeah, let me know how this comes up for you guys. This is very significant. Because this is that magician energy of magician embodiment regarding twin bridges, the twins bridging the rainbow bridge and going back to like the 3D, right? The old, the things that are falling apart and taking a closer look of the Third Reich, the two chevrons, the twin bridges, um, the seven pointed star. I don't know if that's symbolic of something that needs to come up here. If so, write it in the comments, but this is around the world, all four corners of the world, all four corners of the world, double indemnity, double jeopardy all around the world with the psychics out, the divine feminine, the 38 and the 44, and then the magician embodiment of the two of them. 
really significant energies coming up here. All right, and now for the journey of love. This is going long. It's 144.39 it was just, or 49 rather. So again, the 44 of mastery and then the 49 of getting your wish with magician embodiment and it's 12.29 on the clock, which is the hangman being very present in the moment. And now from the journey of love, let's see what comes up for you guys so you can get going. And that came right up. Ah, the the um, enchanted forest and a proposal with a witness. Acceptance of the 55 of the truth. The Excalibur. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth, so help me God. The enchanted forest. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Again, so going across the bridge to the enchanted forest. But I feel like someone was in the enchanted forest and had to run back over the bridge to get something to come back. And then there were twin bridges. So it may, they may have gotten lost because they went back over the wrong bridge to another dimension, to, an, to a parallel earth. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. Like, so Lee going over the bridge and then coming back because you're not dying, right? So you're not crossing over, but going over the bridge and then coming over the other bridge to the, par you know, to the parallel 4D as opposed to the 3D earth. Kind of interesting energy there. And then rings of time coming up again, the 44 of mastery. The rings of time. And again, this is like the old person sitting in a wheelchair with the bird head, which is the energy of knowledge and thoughts energy, but that's the old way of being, right? Of, of challenging the mind as opposed to the heart mind. And this could be a masculine or a feminine. There could be a breast there or none. But again, this is about old age and the wisdom achieved by old age. The acceptance of the enchanted forest, that anything's possible, right? Don't close yourself off to the way things have been 55 44 right i mean the 33 christ vibration coming up today and of course my business is 33 44 so don't close yourself off now the um from what i understand the vibrations that we're raising to are going from the 33 to 34 it's saying don't close yourself off, though, to going even higher towards the 80, which is the Pleiadian energy. Don't close yourself off to the Enchanted Forest, which came up in the movie last night um, because she had died and she was trying to get into heaven. She was hovering around trying to resolve the case of her murder. And it's coming up as that kind of energy because it's a safe place. They feel comfortable there. They're not afraid. It's like grounding your energies in that in the enchanted forest to ground that energy into your actual environment. And you may have help here with your elders, like your parents who have passed. There may be someone there sitting there waiting for you to ask for their help to be the witness or perhaps to perform your ceremony. And that my dad's coming up because I literally um, experienced my father marrying us in a meditation I did last year at a crystal shop. It was really beautiful. So that kind of energy is coming up. We also have, um, there's two other cards that came out, but the bottom of the deck is the heart fire. Again, the one of magician embodiment, the masculine energy, the initiative, the selfishness in a focused way, but also with the golden white light of the solar plexus and the Christ light amidst that bright red of the root chakra, safety and security. And again, the points of the flower coming up here and the notes, the, to the notes and tones and tunes beneath, right? The symbols and the music signs and the shifting of the universes of that number seven that came up in this read into the one, the one, and they're showing you the importance of the ones and the sevens and why you think ones and sevens are important together. The sevens coming up as the symbols of music and other symbols and sounds of the shifting universe, the music of the spheres, and then the one of the magician embodiment of the root chakra and the, the beautiful energy of the nature, the heart fire, right? Setting the hot heart on fire. 
the root chakra to the solar plexus is where that inspiration bursts from up to the heart, which is then the emerald blue and purples, which came up in the beginning of the read. The other two cards that came up from the journey of love is the sweet soul rising of 20, which is the judgment card, but it's also the innocence of someone very sweet judging you the page of cups type of energy and flying being very light and sweet and airy and able to fly. And there's again, ripples here of their energy. And I'm getting that same moon energy with the caps on either side, like the moon being capped. And again, those long fingernails coming out from the moon. And it's like her hands out. And then these are like fingernails out, but in an opposite sense. I'm also getting the energy of veiling, like at a wedding, at a very casual wedding, you know, with very, um, you know, country style energies. And again, Adam and Eve in the Garden, Garden of Eden is coming up here and floating on air, the sweet soul rising of judgment, making a decision, but with heart and being very sweet about it. And then here's the mother energy standing in the energy of the wall. So here's the vortex and then here's the cyclone. So she's half in and half out sitting on the fence. She may be waiting for her child to come back again. The 23 is the king of wands of across the waters, the bridge, like not wanting to cross the br bridge without your child. Okay, this also could be a child who's coming to a mother and they don't know that they're getting pregnant yet. Okay, so we have this, the old man or the old woman and the enchanted forest of giving their blessing to a marriage and a witness. This can be someone marrying them or being witness to their, to their love, their divine love in the enchanted forest. And then here is the child and the mother, right? The father and the son, right? Giving their blessing. This even could be someone going to the father to ask for their blessing. See that? And then here's the mother and the child and her waiting in the vortex, not leaving without them. I'll wait for you. And when it's time you come. Yeah. Cause you see that this, this card really matches with this card, right? So she's here in the chanted forest, but she's also waiting for her child. And then here's the child in the etheric realms with the father. So they may have both passed over too. It may be the mother waiting for the child to be joined with the father or the grandfather or mother or grandmother, wanting them to be together again and wanting to make sure that they're safe and sound before they go forward in a different life. All right. Cause there's very different energies here of this life and this life. And it's very much like the movie last night where someone has to let their child go. They may have had a child who passed in a violent way or just even a miscarriage where someone's having trouble letting go. But maybe the, the thought of releasing them to another relative who's passed, like a mother, father or grandmother, grandfather, will help you be more at peace. And the mother saying, you know, I, I won't leave without you. You know, I'm half in the vortex, half in the cyclone of the 3D but I'm still waiting for you in case you change your mind and come back. There's kind of that energy there. All right. And again, the page energy with the moon and the long fingernails. I, someone's in somebody's clutches. You know, that would be a negative energy there. So let's see what's going on with um, acceptance 55. All right. And someone might have been in someone's clutches and no more. This could have been an evil woman or an or evil man with long fingernails who was the person who hurt this child and they're no longer in their clutches. That could be the message or literally dealing with someone who's evil, who may have just passed, you know, and just being reminded of those energies. You have offered yourself, asked to be of service to the greater good, created something that you want to contribute towards the healing of our world. And your offer has been gratefully accepted by the divine. Know this and be at peace. 
This oracle brings you a message. You are completely received, accepted by the divine, just as you are. There is nothing to change, just you to be. You have made an offering of a prayer, a sacrifice of an attachment, and a giving of a desire to be of service, to make a contribution to the world. And your offer is joyfully being transformed into the seeds of how this can best be. Your next step is about to begin. Shall we find some sunshine amongst the cloudy days, a gentle touch that softly warms and leads us on our way? past stately oaks and candles glow in places we've never been, a friend to share the memories before it's home again. I think that's a good place to end it up. Okay, thanks for being here, you guys. Uh, make sure to comment below. There's a lot of stuff that came up today. Uh, make sure to drink your water to so you have good connection with the etheric realms Make sure and to ground yourself. Make sure to get enough rest and sleep. Sometimes it's very difficult, but get that rest when you can. Make sure you have joy, have a laugh or two in your day, if not more. And then make sure to connect with nature. Go outside and hug a tree or put your feet in the grass or salt bath, whatever it is you, that you do, um, just to help yourself keep more balanced, especially in these energies. They're pretty intense right now. And as always, guys, rise and be loved.